Okay, so we're hearing a lot of new features, new a this AI technology coming out. Uh, but if you're on Tableau Server, often you, you feel that I'm not getting any of these features. They're locked behind Tableau Cloud, they're on Tableau Plus. So I'm not going to get AI technologies anytime soon. So thankfully that's changing. We've been working with some of the developer tools from Tableau Server and incorporating them into AI to understand what new features, what new things can we build for everyone on the Tableau platform. Uh, so using this technology, I've been able to prototype a semantic search for Tableau Server, which I want to show you. Okay, so I'm here on the Information Labs Tableau Server. I can have a look here. We've got tons of content here. 2,000 different views. That's a lot. Nearly 300 different data sources. So finding content for us is incredibly important. We don't want people to keep like uploading new files, creating new data connections when one version already exists. So say, for example, I'm interested about what happened in an American election recently. I might go and search for something about the US election. So here we go. I've searched for US election. I've filtered down to data sources and here are my results. So first up, I've got US fatalities. I hope that's not related to the election. I've also got stuff about flights. I don't think that's going to help me. Uh, and thir But thirdly, I've got Carl's US political analysis. This looks like a good data source for me to go and use. And I've been able to find this using the standard Tableau search. Now, however, if I was to have a slightly different search, I'll get it back a different result. Even like quite an innocent change to what I was searching for. So if you were searching for say USA election, you'll get no results come back. And what's my first thought? I'll, Oh, I'm going to have to go and find a data source, going to have to bring that onto this Tableau server and start working on that from there. Effectively, I've got to start from scratch. All because I put a slightly different search term in. Uh, but hey, we can improve this. So on the right is the semantic search that I've prototyped. And I can take the search criteria for USA election and I can search. And here we go. First result back. Carl's US political analysis, the search, the data source I wanted. Similarly, I can go back and we can have a look at USA election. Uh, so you can actually see here that the ranking is much more efficient to what you actually intentionally wanted from your search. Okay, so I've shown you here how we can have words that are slightly different. So US to USA, similar to bike to bicycle. But we can actually find words that are like quite different in terms of the actual word, uh, but belong to the same sort of topic. For example, if I was to go and search now for drug use. Okay, so I've gone and searched on my Tableau server for drug use, search on the semantic for drug use, and I've got Tableau server got the drug extract from GPs. That, that looks good to me. That looks like a sensible data source. Uh, then we've got US fatalities for flights again. Uh, fatalities maybe, hopefully not, um, and then like some other data sources I don't think are related. Uh, but using the semantic search here, I've got my GP practices, which is great, but I've also got this data source here on NHS prescriptions. So prescriptions are a very different word to say drug usage, uh, but I've been able to pick that up through the semantic nature of this search. Okay, so you can see here I, how I've gone beyond just a normal sort of keyword search, but I can take it one step further and actually ask a question and get back a relevant response. So on my Tableau server, I've gone and searched for how do I improve my fitness? It's something that's very uh, on my mind at the moment. Uh, but I've got back my superstore. I've got cryptocurrencies for my playground, restaurants. I don't think these are going to help with what I want, I want to improve fitness. But if I put this in the semantic search, here we go, I've got first result back as I've got Craig's Fitbit activity. So all the activity monitoring Craig's been doing, I can gain some insights from that. I've also got Craig's Strava details as well, all, all the exercises that Craig's been doing. 
as well as things like Carl's cycling lock. So you can see here yeah. actually that we can go so much beyond just a normal keyword search where we can actually find relevant data sources to answer different questions, um, all with the power of taking what we've got on Tableau Server and adding this AI component to it. Okay, so a bit of the magic, this is how it works. So what I've done is I've gone to that metadata API and I've got details of my data source, name, description. I've also found the column names as well to build up a text field to describe all that is can be done with this data source. Okay, I've taken that, I've then gone and added it to this embedding model. So the embedding model is there to, it's basically gone and understand a lot of different documents, how text is structured, and so we'll understand the semantics, the differences between and the similarities of certain words, helping us form that more informed search. Is then passed into a vector store, which is this numerical representation of the text. On my user sides, they will go and enter the normal search query, as you saw I was doing. Uh, that will then also go into the embedding model to be turned into a numerical representation. The idea is that you will then have these two vectors and you'll work out the distance between them to, and the shortest distance will be the better match for your search criteria. After that, we've got our results come back. I can then enrich them. I've used, say, the REST API here to bring back, say, the URL, so I can go and click into those and start creating workbooks. And I've tidied up that response, and I can pass that back to my users. OK, so this is what we've been able to do with data sources. But I can actually say that you could extend this to include dashboards as well in a similar manner. So you'd find the details of the dashboards. You could actually then find the sheets that make up each individual view and then find out the fields in those sheets to then describe what is being shown in these different views. You can then part and then pass that on to the embedding model and that can be part of your search output as well. So not just data sources, but dashboards too. And this has all been possible because of this project Tableau Langchain this is where we're bringing this AI framework to Tableau. It uh, really helps us extend what is possible with Tableau. You can take all those data sources, the data you trust, and add this AI functionality to it to either bring that trusted data to AI to build on new analytical apps, or in this case with semantic search, you can actually bring it back and say, make a better search criteria for Tableau server. I know I'm super excited about this, not just this ability to like solve problems in new ways, but also it gives us the chance to develop these skills with AI, which is definitely going to be beneficial for the years to come. So if you're interested in this, check out the links with this video. If you've got some ideas of stuff you want to see what AI can do, just drop us a comment and we'll take a look and see what's possible there.